I've heard you talk about before that you started from a place of eating like cheeseburgers and that kind of stuff all the time. Could you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, it was horrible. Um, so back in high school, there was one week, one week where I would eat every day at Five Guys. Basically, it was a, a burger joint, and I would eat there every day. Like my diet before veganism was just basically meat-based, dairy-based, eggs, fish, all that stuff. Um, and you know what's funny is, you know, I have a YouTube channel. I'm a pretty open guy about veganism and an advocate, but. Uh, Back in the day, I was so opposed to veganism. Anyone who brought up the word vegan or vegetarian, uh, like I would always give him crap for it. In fact, I had this one friend back in high school who was vegetarian, and I would always give him crap for it for being vegetarian, choosing not to eat meat and all that. But it's funny how we've crossed over. Now he eats meat, now I'm vegan. It's funny how life plays out like that. But yeah, I was just um, very into uh, all that uh, animal products and stuff and mm. after getting into it I decided to change to a healthy lifestyle without even having the, the, um, the vegan intention in my mind I just wanted to get healthier so I tried different diets out because I wasn't where I wanted to be athletically I wasn't where I wanted to be aesthetically and also you know I, I was getting sick a lot now that I've gone vegan I feel so much better I haven't gotten sick I don't get headaches anymore no more stomach aches no more nothing and I'm just living a healthy lifestyle and so basically what caused me to really embrace the plant-based diet was a documentary called forks over knives where they talk yeah. about the benefits of eating a whole food plant-based diet and also I read a couple of books like the China study prevent reverse heart disease, the starch solution, Dr. Neil Barnard's reversing diabetes, mm -hmm. just a bunch of great books out there. And just continue to educate myself into more healthy living, healthy eating. And from there, that sort of domino effect down to what I would call veganism, I found out of not only the benefits that it brings to your body, but also to the environment and of course the animals too. I mean, that's really a direct cause is eating meat you're you're causing so much suffering to animals and so I I accepted that I accepted where meat came from it came from off the bones of living animals I I wanted to be vegan I knew this was the way I wanted to live for the rest of my life this is what made me happy and uh, I found a sense of purpose mm -hmm. and uh, never looked back seeing as how you came from this place of like very deep in animal products and everything what if you if you're talking to someone who maybe has an interest in veganism but you know is just eating animal products their entire life and mm -hmm. it just seems so unrealistic to them to ever not eat those things what would you say to that person to start making those changes yeah well I mean there's just so many factors to look in like I said there's there's your diet you know your you there's you there's the animals there's the environment there's so many factors um, and really any of those can touch different type of people there's you know different people are motivated by different factors mm -hmm. for me personally I was moved when I started to get healthier when things didn't start to hold me back and I could look forward to other other ways of improving my own life but um, really what it comes down to is being educated, getting the facts, you know, realizing what is dogma out there and what is fact, you know. You can be healthy eating a vegan diet. You can be healthy without meat, dairy, eggs, fish, and all that stuff. Like science said so, and it's fact that animal agriculture is causing, it, it's one of the reasons it's causing, you know, um, pollution in our world, in our planet, and the destruction with grazing all the forests and all that so just really being educating there's a lot of great resources out there too and I mean the vegan lifestyle has come so far I, I can't imagine doing this 30 40 years ago I mean I wasn't even alive but I can't imagine doing it back then if I was because I mean the internet really didn't exist and there wasn't as many resources now you can find resources pretty much on so many places bookstores the website everywhere documentaries out there so um 
what I would generally say is if you're look if you're interested in doing the vegan lifestyle, there's three documentaries you should pay attention to. Really, um, one of them I, I think is Forks Over Knives. Mm -hmm. Getting your diet straight. I mean, you want to be vegan definitely, but try to be healthy. Try to try to improve your um, try to improve yourself as much as you can. And uh, the second documentary is called Earthlings, which is which is a, a really strong documentary. Uh, it really opens your eyes to what is being done to the animals, not just not just from food, not just from uh, diet, but other factors as well, such as leather, the um, the pet industry, uh, fishing, all that stuff. So really great documentary. And uh, the third one is called Cowspiracy. That one talks about a lot of the environmental mm -hmm. factors that are that are being harmed by the meat and dairy industry. So there's a lot of great resources out there. So being well educated is definitely a key if you want to succeed on the on the vegan lifestyle. So you said that eventually the kind of the ethical foundation and the environmental causes started to come in as well, even though health was your main reason for starting this path. Um, do you find that like one or more of those has become more significant as you've gone forward or has it just kind mm. of remained yeah. level? Well, I'll tell you, uh, I'll confess like at first I was like th this is about me this isn't mm -hmm. about the animals like I didn't even want to call myself vegan I, I mm -hmm. you know I was just eating a plant-based diet um, but now I, I really I really can't weigh one thing over the other you know like life is life whether it's a, a living uh, wild animal or an animal in a factory farm or you know that human being down by the park it, the, they're all the same. You can't value one more than the other. So, um, yeah, I, I love to eat good food. I love to eat as healthy as possible so I can live as long as I can be around the people that I love and do the things that I love doing. But at the same time, I don't want to cause harm to, to someone else just so I can wear a leather belt or a fur coat or something like that. So I've I've done as much as I can to, to help the environment, to help the animals, and I'm not going to say you know, I'm 100% innocent. Um, there's, but there's little minor things that don't even play, that don't even count in the big picture. You know, diet is so easy to change. You know, avoiding leather and and fur and all that, it's so easy. Avoiding uh, products tested on animals, that's so easy. Anyone can do that. So really, just um, I, I really can't weigh one thing over the other. You know, uh, yeah, this lifestyle has been amazing because it helps so much and uh, it's, it's really more than just about you.